Oh! Come on! Oh, another nice snapper, guys. Oh my god. Good morning, my lovely people. Derek here from Hooked on Fishing for Real. Here to bring you a fishing video to inspire you so that you'll get out there and get hooked on fishing. And that's for real. Beautiful day here in paradise. A little windy, a little cool, but perfect weather conditions for fishing. So guys, I'm going to be out there fishing today by the Skyway. My main target fish species today is going to be those mangrove snapper. Now, just the other day, my wife and I were talking about having some delicious fish, fish tacos for dinner. And I can't think of a better tasting fish for fish tacos than mangrove snapper. And I'm pretty sure you guys will agree with me as well. So, what I'll be fishing at is out by the Skyway. Uh, it's where there's a lot of structure out by that way. And that's where usually you'll find those mangrove snapper. And so with that being said, let me show you my setup real quick. Um, so what I have here is I have a seven foot uh, medium light fast um, carbon rod ugly stick. Uh, and I like ugly sticks because they're really tough. Uh, equipped with a Daiwa um, Revels LT3000C spinning reel. Spooled with 15 pound uh, braided test tied to a six foot long 20 pound fluorocarbon leader tied to a uh, one eye circle hook with a half ounce split shot about a foot to a foot and a half from the hook itself. The bait I'll be using is these frozen uh, vacuum sealed three to four inch uh, thread fins and I caught these um, out off the Skyway Pier about a month ago and so they're still fresh because the the day I caught them, I immediately brought them home, vacuum sealed them, and then froze them right away. And guys, let me tell you, uh, if you catch those bait fish like that when they're fresh, and then you immediately vacuum seal them and freeze them, they perform just as well as the live fish. Trust me, I've already tested it, and it works. So guys, with that being said, uh, I'm going to get out there and go do some fishing. And hopefully I can hook on to this mango snapper for you guys. So you guys don't go anywhere. Stay right there because I'm going to give you guys a great show to enjoy. All right, let's go. So I'm going to get out to my spot. And once I get out there, guys, I'll um, turn this camera back on. And uh, hopefully I can get hooked onto some fish for you guys. And that is for real. <laughs> All right. Fish on, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That was a big fish. Oh, my gosh. That was a big fish. That was a huge fish. Snap my line. Snap my line. <laughs> Got him. Got him, guys. He ain't getting off. Oh, yeah. There's a snapper. There's a snapper, guys. Look at that. And I know there's some bigger ones down there. He's not big enough to keep. He has to be at least 10 inches. He's not 10 inches. I know there's some bigger ones down there, for sure. Guys, I'm on. I am on. Hopefully he's a bigger one. Oh, this is a grouper. Look at this, guys. It's a grouper. There you go. I got to move those poles out of the way, but look at that. That's a, a baby gag grouper. Look at that. All right. Put you back. Oh, guys, this is awesome. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Action all day right here. Action all day long. All day long action. Oh, he's on, guys. Got him. I think he's a keeper. I think he's a keeper snapper. Oh, yeah, he's a keeper. Oh, yeah, wait till you guys see this one. This bad boy. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. Look at that, guys. That's a keeper snapper. Look at this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And look at that fat stomach on you. That's a keeper snapper. That's got to be about 12 inches. 
Let me measure it. I'm gonna measure the sucker. Twelve inches. I was gonna big snapper. Another big snapper guy. Oh, that's a grouper. Oh gosh, look at this guy grouper guy. Wow. That's a guy grouper. Look at this guy. Look at this baby. Look at that. Alright guys, I'm on. Oh. I'm on. What we got? Oh, another nice snapper, guys. Oh my gosh. A nice one. Look at this, guys. Another nice snapper. Look at this. Oh, that's got to be, what, 14? 13, 14? Let me measure it. Wow. Let's see here. He's 13. Oh my gosh. He's going to make some great fish tacos tonight. Great fish tacos. <laughs> Bag limit is five. I need three more like that. There we go. All right. Let's do it again. I'm going to throw it right back over there in that same spot that I just was at. Move this out the way. All right. There we go. guys another one another one guys oh I got another one on guys oh yeah another nice one oh yes look at this another nice one guys he's 10 inches still he's a keeper look at that good day today good day today all right, I need three more, or two more, and then I'm done, guys. I can go home and make dinner. All right, here we go. We on, guys. Come on. I am on, guys. Ooh, a nice one. Another nice snapper. I'll say he's 10 inches. Let's see here. Here he is. Let's see if he's 10 inches. Oh yeah, he's 10 inches. He's a keeper. Oh yeah, he's going guys. Alright, I got my last snapper. Oh yeah, he's on. Wow, what a great day, guys, out on the water. I mean, man, it couldn't get any better. I found the perfect spot for those mangrove snapper. Once I anchored off there, I knew I was in a good spot. I looked at the fish sonar and saw all these fish swimming by. And so uh, I limited out on my mangrove snapper, guys. I got my bag limit, which is five a day in the Gulf, uh, all over 10 inches. And uh, so they're gonna be some good eating tonight. Right now I'm getting ready to fillet them, but before I fillet them, I want to show you guys my catch. So here they are. 